So we've officially had them for eight weeks as of yesterday, I believe. I think. I don't, I don't know. Uh, I've lost track so many times. Um, I believe today is July 26th. I think so. Anyway, it's Tuesday. It's the last Tuesday in July. I know that. <laughs> but um, we're down to five. We had processed one this past weekend and she was only 3.2 pounds when she was finished so we decided we're going to wait on the rest until this weekend so there you have it um it looks like they are starting to molt there's feathers everywhere <laughs> and those are not from the one that we did so it's kind of fun i don't know they're drinking a lot of water but they also fight over the top of that one so ronnie put this big giant one in that we actually we inherited it from his grandparents which is kind of cool so yeah a little bit harder to knock that one over for them and it's nicer for us because we don't have to fill it quite as much but this is a it's a royal mess in here today so i've got a lot of gardening plans this morning we've got kittens inside that we're fostering that he cleaned today and then this evening when we come out for evening chores, these guys will, everything will get washed and they'll get moved again over to this fresh grass. So there you have it. They're huge. They, <laughs> they are so big. So I don't know if maybe the one that we did was just like the smallest of them. I don't know. But um, like I said, it's Tuesday today and they will be, they're, they're all going to go Sunday, no matter what, because we can't keep putting this off. Um this is that's all the food we've got and i don't have any more ordered for them so if they run out i'm just gonna have to pick up whatever they've got at church supply or the co-op or something um but we don't want to keep pushing it out further and further because cornish crosses aren't they're not meant to last so if we just end up with smaller birds this time we end up with smaller birds which i suppose i knew was an an option as the end result here because this is 18% feed and everything that I saw recommended like 20 to 22 or more so I went with the 18 which I've, I've mentioned before I, I feel like I just say everything 40 times but I also don't know how all well these are cut together and all that stuff at the end so if you've already heard this disregard but um, I went with the 18 consciously in hopes that we wouldn't lose any to heart attacks or anything like that. I was hoping if we kind of gave them a little bit lower protein, they'd grow a smidge slower and they would all make it to processing. So they have, we have accomplished that. And also with it just being the two of us, it's not a huge deal to only have like four to five pound birds, perfectly fine. Um, I mentioned the one we processed was just 3.2. We used her chicken breast last night for dinner. It was delicious. It was fine. And then because she is smaller, her like wings and legs are smaller, the breasts were fine. So it's just gonna end up being that we have the, like the wings and the legs and everything all as one meal instead of being able to part it out into three meals. But it's not a loss. And we still are incredibly grateful and thankful to her sacrifice, so. Yeah, there you have it. <laughs> We've had them for eight weeks. This is how big they are. Um, this is our fourth bag of food also, in case you're curious. And the pool noodle situation is only good from here up on the other side. They've pulled it all off officially. So, but I would still highly recommend it, at least on this side. And you could probably just cut it so that it's only on the front for your hand, I would think. But there they are getting big.